Well, it is National News Literacy Week. It is our chance to show you what journalism is supposed to be transparent and honest. Here at 25 News, all week long, we're taking you behind the scenes, showing you the decision-making process. We want you to know where your news comes from, how we write the words that you see, and the process to make sure it's all factual. 25 News reporter Austin Walker is here in the studio tonight. Austin, this comes down to trust. Yeah, exactly. As a journalist, we ask the tough questions. And on 25 News at 5 and 6, we show you that story. But as a viewer, you should also question us. How we got our answers, what was that process like, and is it fact? Tonight, I'm going to show you a day in the life of one of my shifts, taking you behind the scenes, explaining my decision-making process because we owe it to you. The day starts like any other job, getting ready and not looking like a slob. Obviously, it's not that fast. Next, getting on the morning meeting with the news team. Because of COVID-19, our meeting is virtual. This is where our reporters will pitch their stories for the day and managers will decide what we work on. And uh, you had some good stats too that I really liked uh, for your piece, so. Once we have our assignments, we're off. My story for the day was about Texas jobs. A report by the Texas Workforce Commission said the Abbott administration created over 50,000 more jobs in December, but this raises questions like why are we seeing so many more help wanted signs? Next, I made a plan of who I wanted to talk to. Talk to the TWC that put out that report, talk to businesses who are struggling to hire even though there are more jobs, and finally talk to an expert in economics answering the question, where is the disconnect? At 25 News, our reporters are multimedia journalists, or MMJs. Think of it like a one-man band. We shoot, edit, stress out, write, tear up, and present everything by ourselves. I reached out to the Texas Workforce Commission, left a message hoping to land an interview. I made some calls, found a restaurant who was struggling to hire. First, last name, spelling what you do. Mary Lou Castillo. Managing this restaurant, Casa de Castillo. And I also spoke with James West, a professor of economics. As the COVID pandemic drags on, aren't enough. I didn't hear back from the commission, but that's okay. In journalism, you want to have at least two interviews to tell a well-rounded story. Once I get all my elements, I went to work. I wrote my script and sent it off to our management team, who goes line by line through it. They fact check, rewrite, and clear up the information, making sure nothing can be misconstrued. Once it gets the green light, it's off to record my voice. My check, three, two, one, according to a national report. Then I take a little coffee break because I'd be dead inside without it, and a little dancey dance break too. Then I work to compose my story. Once it's done, I have to look all professional, check out this transition, then it's showtime. And what we're actually seeing. Yeah, so over 50,000 jobs were added in just December across the state. It's also important to remember, this job does have a lot of ups and downs. But we're all family at 25 News, so the stressful days are all worth it. Now that should give you just a little uh, sneak peek of what goes on behind the scenes. And I want to finish up with one thing, why I became a journalist. I knew I wanted to help people. I could never be a doctor or a nurse or a scientist because of my below average math skills, but I learned journalism has the potential to change lives. You get to inform and educate. You get to uncover information that could change policy. It's something that could impact your money, health, safety, your education. And in the area of fake news, it's hard to decipher what is true and what is not. Something to remember, just because it makes you mad doesn't mean it's not true. Local media is made up of people just like you living in your community, telling you stories that also impact them. In the studio tonight, I'm Austin Walker, 25 News.